Crazy family, we are so excited about today's video. The kids are gonna be showing you their favorite lunches. Yes! They love taking their own lunch to school and they love making their own lunch. Yeah, so, and we have kids at home. Yeah, we have kids that are home That are also homeschooled. That also love to make their own lunch. Yeah. So we thought we would give them a dedicated fridge and organize it and get them, cute. yes, and I'm cute, <laughs> and get them all ready. So, but before we do that, we wanna talk about today's sponsor, which is Walmart. Yay! Yay! We love Walmart. So much. And we love that Walmart offers such great prices with their private brands and such like just ease and convenience of you know shopping experience. Yeah, really. we are busy. We are so busy all the time, especially with a big family. We always have stuff going on. We love that they, you know, we can just place our order online, either go pick it up, or if we're really busy, have it delivered. We'll deliver it. Yes, to which yes. is amazing. Yeah, we use that option all the time. Yeah, and we love that with their private brands, everything is so affordable, and you don't have to feel like you're sacrificing quality. No, because you, everything is just such Great good quality. quality. Um, in fact, a lot of their you know private brands that they offer are some of my regular favorite products that I love to eat and use. So um, yeah, yeah we we're gonna go ahead and get the whole fridge put together. We've got a wide assortment of products here to get us started. Yes. And we are gonna go ahead and get this whole entire fridge stocked oh, for the kids. Nice. And stocked for the kids. So <laughs> <laughs> I pre-cleaned this because you do not no. want to see you didn't what was in it. here. Yeah. It was really, really And you needed some help? It definitely needed to organize. I'm mm -hmm. glad this is going to be just lunches now. Yeah. And not just everybody's just, you know, throw in. Throw in. Because that's what was happening. Is this like, this is the closest fridge in the kitchen. Everyone just would throw all the leftovers yes. in there. We have, we have other fridges. We have yes. five fridges all together. Yes. And so um, <laughs> this one will just be for lunches. I think it's a really good idea. So. Yeah. Okay, let's okay. clean this out. Yeah, we're gonna clean it out. We love that we could just go to Walmart, get everything that we needed to get this prepped, cleaned, organized. So we're gonna start by disinfecting the whole thing. And I guess you're on your own. I just- Come on, no! I can't help, so. <laughs> I'm come around, come okay. around. <laughs> Disinfected. We're gonna start loading up the fridge and one of the things with this fridge is it doesn't have a section for condiments because it's just glass here. Like a normal <laughs> fridge, you have this whole entire section. So we are going to um, utilize some containers. We got this Lazy Susan that I think will really help you I think everyone so too. organize yeah. because we're gonna go ahead and put all of our condiments on there so they can just spin it because normally what happens is the condiments just get lost in the back everywhere. And then we end up with like six open ketchup. Right, so it's not good. Not good. <laughs> Walmart helps us save money by keeping their prices low every day. By switching to private brands, you can maximize your budget and get more for less. We love that Walmart offers a wide variety of products and they're constantly updating their selections to keep up with the latest trends. A couple of our family's favorites are the Great Value Vanilla Wafers and their String Cheese. With Walmart's private brands, you never have to feel like you're settling for less. They have all the products you value at an affordable price so you can live the lifestyle you want. so much better. It's all organized. I feel like everything is set to grab and go. Kids are really good about eating their vegetables, but we find that when we bag them, they actually eat them even more. So this is all set for them to just quickly put in their lunches. They can see everything that they have to pick from. This looks so much better. Use the link in the description to shop Walmart's online pickup or delivery and get your order today. Be sure to use code triple 10 for $10 off your first three orders of $50 or more. What are you doing? Are you we're, dancing or what? We're making lunch. Making yes. lunch. Yes. So, so Bradley is eating healthy and I'm not. So. <laughs> well, who says it's unhealthy? What exactly are you having? Okay. Well, to me, it's like not that. Well, I don't know. It probably is. I don't know. It's, okay. So it's like it's egg on like it's eggs on the pan, and then you add your bread, and then you like flip it over to where the eggs are facing. So it's up. an egg sandwich. Basically, yeah. and then you put bacon and cheese, and then. So, okay, it's, it's, not, it's not the healthiest thing, but it's not no. terrible. So what exactly are compared, you having? Compared to uh, ours and Addison's lunch, mm -hmm. Addison's has well, I, I think Addison wants a salad. Yeah, yeah, Addison's always wanting salad. I'm going to have some pita bread and hummus oh. with 
with some peppers, sweet peppers, um, and tomatoes, and a fruit salad. Okay, yours is definitely healthier than hers. A lot. For, For sure. sure. <laughs> that looks delicious. I might actually have the same thing. Or maybe I'll have some salad, because I like salad too. So I don't know. What am I going to have? All right, so enjoy your healthy lunch. Well, Aubrey that looks her. really good. I wonder if I should convince Aubrey to make me one of those sandwiches. No, I better just do something healthy. Why? Uh, I can make you one. No, I'm good. I'm going to have something healthy. I'm either going to have a salad or some hummus. True. So I'm good. Thank you, though. You're welcome. <laughs> I think that you make your eggs like I do. What do you mean? I put a lot of pepper in my eggs. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we Addison, Addison and Mom... Love salt, okay? And no pepper, like no zero. zero. It's like barely like any, like that. Okay, it's, they don't really like pepper. They like, but us three, we love pepper and pepper. like barely like any salt. I like lots yeah. of pepper, no salt. Well, I like, I like some. Maybe a bit. tiny bit. Yeah, but not like a whole bit. bunch. Like, but I can like see that. your eggs and they look peppered. Yeah! Pepper okay. Definitely you peppered. You gotta add pepper. Mason, what are you gonna make for lunch? Oh, uh, probably just a sandwich. Uh, you make some bomb Mason's sandwiches. Mason's sandwiches are oh, no. something else. They're There's there. no oh, comparison. Are. His sandwiches are like are like the bomb. Incredibly good. <laughs> Do you like mostly cook it before you throw the bread on? Yes. Uh -huh. I also have to toast. Well, not toast. I have to butter the bread before I like put it on. So like flip it and it doesn't burn. Where's your bacon? Do you like pre-cooked bacon or something? I think so. Okay. Well, no. You think so? I you better check because bacon takes a while. Yeah, it's right in front of your eyeballs. Okay. I see it oh. from here. There's the pre-cooked bacon. <laughs> Mason is starting his masterpiece sandwich. Yep. His well, sa seriously, his sandwiches are unrivaled. They're they so good. They are so good. I'm All probably right. gonna cut up a new red onion. A, a brand new red onion? All right, so you use red onion in there, huh? Yes. I don't know if right, I saw right. red onion when it's purple. Literally well, it's kind of red. Well, it's, it's like, like a marrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like so you like cook this thing until it's like done. Yeah, because I don't want to like place the bread on it and then it's like not all the way cooked. What kind of cheese are you using? Like a sliced cheese? Oh, no, like shredded. Like shredded cheese. Yeah, shredded. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, she's flipping it. I'm flipping it. Nice. Okay, now I have to like lift up one side of it and then I got too much cheese, so I'm just gonna like, you know. Is is it ever too much cheese? Not really. <laughs> and how much bacon do you fit on there? Three. Three, three pieces. Three pieces of three bacon. Three pieces like of Like not bacon. three giant slices though, or are they little pieces? They're something? little pieces, obviously. Oh, uh, okay. Well, don't you need to put the bacon in there? Yeah, so I'm just gonna hold it up like that. That is a no! huge sandwich. I know. You're gonna eat all that by yourself. Definitely not. I could like only, I could barely even eat half of it, but it's and just then what so do you good. do? I probably, I don't you know. You probably give it away, huh? I do give it away. But Brindley likes eating it. Mason is... Mason's over here like, uh, I'm getting the extra. Yeah. <laughs> I missed some of it. You missed the red onion. Wow, you eat a lot of red onion on there, don't you? I like red onions. I, I do too, I actually love it. It's like my favorite thing on burgers. And burgers, salads, anything. Yeah. I love red onion, it's so delish. So tomatoes, so he's making his. You are done with yours, aren't I'm you? I'm done, yay! It's an ooey gooey breakfast sandwich that yes. looks really good. Bomb! It, I don't know. I saw it on Pinterest or Instagram. I don't even know where I saw you it. You saw it on social media somewhere. Somewhere. And then I just had to make it the same day. And then, actually, no, I saw it before I went to bed. And then I, like, could not stop thinking about it. Like, that's what I dreamt about was this. And really? Then I made you it. dreamt about yes, it? Yes, I did. And then I, I made it in the morning. I think you make this sandwich every day, don't you? Not every day, but, like, but every off, other day. Often. <laughs> often, for sure. Yes. I need Cholula. Where's the that I don't know. Now, then we have this little girl over here who's eating. You're almost done, aren't you? Yeah. Yum. Look at that. Oh, you haven't tried the sweet peppers yet. Uh -huh. No? Yummy. Enjoy your lunch. 
Oh, the secret ingredient. Avocado. Avocado. Look at that. Okay, I think that I am looks delicious. done cutting up all the stuff. So now time to toast my bread. So you, got, so you have your toasted bread and mayonnaise. Yep. And your cheese. So. She's my... almost done with. Mm -hmm. Wait, what was that about? Oh, you hate mayo. Like, mm -hmm. hate, and, and, and like in every sense of the word, right? Mm-hmm. So if I bring the mayo closer to you, like that. <laughs> Get that away from me. Get it. Mason, no, 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 no. Why do you hate mayo so much? Why don't you put it in your Cholula? Oh, don't do that. Don't, no, don't do that. I'm done with that plate now. He didn't I'm even done. touch it. He didn't even touch it. Okay, I'll move the mayo away. It's going away, it's going away. <laughs> All right, Mason, let's put your sandwich together. I need to like balance that out a little more. Yeah, it looks good already. I like this, but most of my family doesn't. I like honey mustard. I'm not a fan of any kind of mustard. Although, Aubrey loves mustard, and I do I not. Like, I like the regular one, but like, I hardly ever have it now. Now, so like, really? I don't really know if I like it that much anymore, but I don't. I don't like honey mustard. Honey, yeah, this is honey. I don't How is she gonna do that? She does, she has those long nails. nails. She can't do that. You know what? Gotta put some bacon on it. Oh, bacon too? Yeah. Yeah. I don't good, usually but... do bacon. That That's looks true. so good. I want that sandwich. Maybe I'll have that for lunch. Not mine. Well, not yours, of course. So it's a turkey bacon. That's almost like a turkey bacon club. I do not know what that is, but yes. It's like a club sandwich. It looks really good. He's got the honey mustard, lettuce, avocado, turkey, wow. bacon, cheese, tomato. That is a sandwich. You can't even fit that in your mouth. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm worried that like... But I'm you've made a similar sandwich for me before and it is really, really good and healthy. All right, Mason, I gotta see you actually take a bite of that. Huge sandwich. Oh, and you went for some hummus and pita. Yep. Nice. I'm wondering Can you... how I'm gonna bite it. <laughs> well, I saw you smash it down to make it smaller, which is smart. Can you fit your mouth? Oh my gosh, he can. <laughs> but I'll bet it's delicious. Mm. Delicious is a 2021 movie director. <laughs> <laughs> His watch responded. Actually, it's a Fitbit, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a Fitbit. Hey guys, it's Addison here and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be making for my lunch and I am super excited to show you guys, but I get a little bit more time to make my lunch because I am homeschooled. So homeschooled. let's get started. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea what you are going to make us. Yes. Okay. I'm going to be making like a waffle sandwich, if that makes sense. And this is your favorite lunch. Yes. This is my favorite lunch and I'm super excited to show you guys. Okay. Let's get okay. started. Let me grab this stuff. What do you think of this refrigerator? Oh, I love it. It's Isn't so this organized. Nice? This is amazing. A lot better than before. Okay, so walk us through this. Okay. It's kind of simple, but it does take a little bit of time. I'm going to, so there's going to be two waffles on the side, um, bacon, egg, and then syrup. So I'm going, I have to cook the egg and I have to cook the bacon. Okay. And the bacon is what takes a little bit to make. Okay. I put a little bit too much butter on it. It's okay. Do you break the yolk or do you just leave it? No, I just leave it there, but I kind of take, I take off most of the white around the outside of the egg. What? So that it's not as big and so it can fit on the waffles. Okay. <laughs> I've seen you eat this before, so yes. I'm interested also, how it gets made. Everybody would always say like, this isn't good and I don't like it. And then I made Brinley one because she, did, she didn't think it was good either. And I made her one and she loved it. So then we just keep making them. But it's actually, it's delicious. What are you doing? I'm trying to see if it's... Oh, you're it's trying to bottom. check it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like the sides are cooked, but the like bottom of it isn't yet. Is it supposed to have yolk in the middle or no? Yeah. Okay. I let it pop when it's on my waffles. It's really good. There we go. Okay, 
okay, it's cooked. I don't cook the waffles yet until the bacon is done cooking because the bacon takes a little bit and then I put them in the toaster. Okay, next is the bacon which we have to cook. No, you don't have to cook the bacon. I cooked some earlier today and they even used some a little bit earlier. Oh, you're good to so skip that step. Do I just microwave it? Yeah, just microwave it for like 10, 15 seconds on a paper towel and you're good to go. Oh, this will be made so much faster. Yeah. Okay, well then let's let's heat up the Toast waffles. your, yes. toast those. So you're making a, a waffle sandwich? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. It must smell good, because yes. we have a little puppy here that wants some. <laughs> she can smell it. <laughs> oh, and look, here comes another dog. Uh, yep. Hi, Lily. They know something's cooking. The bacon's hot. Now I butter these while it's hot so that the butter can melt onto it. Oh, you like butter. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of butter. I got a little bit too much. I won't use all of it, but. <laughs> or maybe I will. Hey, butter's good. I'm not going to argue that, so. So how long have you been making this? A couple months. I just learned how to do like it. Like every day? No, like, oh no. The last time I made it was like a couple days ago. But I learned how to make it a couple Hey, when months you ago. find something good, it's like it's hard to get away from it. Okay. Now I set the egg on the waffle. Then I get the bacon, which is over here. And I just set it across. Like, Do you put over. cheese on it too, or no cheese? No, no, no cheese. cheese. No cheese. Nope. Okay. This is a process. Yes. Seriously, this is a process. <laughs> then the egg, and then a little bit of syrup on the syrup on your egg. Yes. Okay. That's that's not a me thing. I, I'm not huge on with eggs and syrup, but it's not bad. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's just okay. me. Okay. <laughs> and I will admit, this is a pretty messy meal. <laughs> because I that also I believe. <laughs> oh, you put oh, on more top? on? Yes. And do you still eat it like a sandwich? Uh-huh. So you don't cut it up? And no. She picks it cutting, up. Cutting it up just takes it all apart and it takes way too long. Okay, I want you to try it. Wait, me? Yeah. Yes. What? Well, try it. So I have to get my hands all goopy. Yep. Try the Absinthe's oh favorite sandwich. God. Do it. Famous this is sandwich. a favorite right. one. So you, I can't even cut it up. No. No, you just so have to pick it up. You're going to have to just lean over it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, seriously. How do you eat this? <laughs> you just get messy. Yes. Oh. What if it's gross? No, it's going to be good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is it good? Mm hmm. What's good? It's good? It's good. Brinley would actually make fun of me because of how mess he would get because I'd always have syrup all over my hands and my face and she'd just laugh at me because of how funny I looked with syrup all over my face and my fingers. Oh, he's eating even more of it. It must be good. You did good. I'm a, I'm a professional. Yes, you are. It's really good. <laughs> I don't think you're going to get to eat any of it. It's okay. I'll just make another one. What are you doing? Oh, hi. I was gonna come scare you. Dick. Oh, I made all the dogs bark. <laughs> Sorry. They're like, what's going on? Oh. So, yeah, I was just doing some digging. Look at this. You have quite the mess. Oh my gosh. I made quite the mess, which I'm so sorry. It's totally I'm good. I'm so sorry. I've let, I've kept your house like this for a couple days, actually. It's okay. <laughs> it's file decorating. It's file decorating. We really had to get everything out so that I could see everything that we had so I could start making plans of where everything should go. So. Well. I am at the beginning stages. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe how many pumpkins. I, I literally thought we had like 30 pumpkins. I know. We counted, we counted it today. 123. Ah! Ah! But can you really have too many pumpkins? No. Like no way, right? We actually used every single one of these pumpkins last year in all of our decor, if you can believe that. I know. And we did all of that and we were like, Wow, thank goodness we bought what we did because we used them all. So, and then we kind of felt that like, well, did we actually need more? Like, do we need more? I don't know, maybe. Or a little. We'll see how your decorating a goes. A little excessive. We're gonna see I how love it goes these. This year. I know. Oh, hi, so Jared. Pretty. These are so pretty. You made these you last need year. More? So we might need more. <laughs> you we'll never see. Know. You Come never on. know. That's a lot of pumpkins. I know it is a lot of pumpkins, but they're so cute. They are cute. 
This is my favorite to decorate for, yeah. to my favorite season. And we feel like with fall, like you can definitely, we start, okay, so it's the end of August, right? We were actually had planned to start earlier this year, but just ran out of time. And last year we started September 1st and you figure we keep this out all the way until December. Yeah. So. Well, until November. No, December. Well, like the end of November. Well, the end of November. Yeah, right. So we keep it out that whole entire time. So you figure that's a good few months. So we feel like if you're gonna, you know, go crazy on decor, let it be fall. <laughs> At least it lasts. At least it lasts for a few months. Christmas is hard because it's only like a month, but we still love Christmas. Don't get me wrong. We still went crazy for Christmas like, love last it. year. Like absolutely love it. Just leave so. Christmas up all year. I know I, know. I was. That would Can't be, go wrong. That I would was. be nice, but right? right? You know, Christmas, I'm like two weeks after, like into the new year, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. I'm ready for a fresh start. So, <laughs> but anyway, right. well, I got my work cut out for me. Yes, here. you do. I have a lot of work to do, but this is my favorite thing to do. So, I could just be doing this for hours and hours and hours. 